Hi everyone, this is Louis. Today we're gonna talk about how you can take amazing photos even under direct sunlight. A good friend of mine told me that I should get out of my comfort zone as a creative experiment and I'm glad I did. Imagine this. You're in the middle of nowhere, in the desert, with no shade, no strobes, no reflectors, only your camera. And to make it even worse, it's not even the golden hour. Okay now, let's get back to our subject. I promise at the end of this episode, I'll show you the behind the scenes video. To shoot under direct sunlight using only my camera, I used my ISO my f-stop and my shutter speed. To start you want to make sure your ISO is all the way down to 100. Some cameras can go even lower like 50. The lower the ISO number the less light you're gonna get. I wanted to have this nice blurry background to have all the attention on the model. I actually went all the way down to 2.8 and I decided to control the amount of light they would get into my camera using my shutter speed. The star of this episode is gonna be your shutter speed. The shutter speed basically means how long your shutter stays open while the picture is taken. The faster the shutter speed, the less light will go to your sensor and the slower your shutter speed is going to allow more light to get into your sensor. So that's a pretty low shutter speed or even faster. Let me go ahead and show you three different looks you can get while shooting under direct sunlight. Notice the only thing that I will change in my settings is my shutter speed. For this image, I had my model facing the sun, so I paid a lot of attention to my highlights, making sure my highlights were not overexposed. When the sun is high up, it can give you this very ugly shadows under the eyes of the model. So what you can do is just have your model move her chin up to solve that problem. For this second image, I wanted to give it a softer look. I made sure the sun was basically behind my model, leaving her in complete shade while taking advantage of the sunlight to give it this really nice rim light. I really love this last image. I exposed my image based on the sky to capture a nice bright open sky and I wanted to intentionally leave my model underexposed, creating a beautiful silhouette. I thought making this image black and white would give it that final touch. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. And as I promised, I'm gonna leave you with the behind the scenes video. This is Luis Cárdenas, and until next time, gracias.